What's up everyone, Barbara Mo here. Today we'll be talking about how to maintain and groom your beard at home. And for those of you who just watched this, I have released one video talking about how to maintain your hair. Go check that out. And again, I will always advise you to let professional barber to do it. But if you have no another option but to do it by yourself, then stick around and let me teach you how. So before we get started, let's go very quick view to my beard, right? And then we'll see it as well before and after. Might have a little bit longer, thicker, different beard color, whatever. But the steps that I'm going to give you, it will be helpful to keep you presentable, neat, right? Let's take a look at it. So this is the right side, as you can see. So my beard, it's not too long, but also it's not too short. So we can do something with it. Let's get started and you would be the best to touch. So here I have the tools that is requested for the beard trim. It's the big trimmer, the small trimmer, and then the guides for the trimmer from one to four, and then the scissor, the mustache comb, and then the big comb. And you have the cutting cape, barber gel, straight razor, and beard brush. And if you don't have it all, it's enough for you to have the big clipper, small clipper, and the guides, and scissor, and comb, and the rest all is replaceable. So the most common mistake that all the people they do, they waste their time thinking, how do I start it, from where, and which part? Some people, they start from the bottom, some people, they start from the middle, some people start it from the top, and they think there is there is difference, or they're gonna make any difference. There is no difference, right? So all's gonna be the same, or it's gonna lead to the same uh, finishing, so you don't have to stress out, where do I start, and how, and why? So we have a couple of steps to follow, and this is very common. So we always know that we need our face to be a little bit of clean and square look. It's, it's the manly look, I believe. So you can start it from here, shorten it, to end it up here a little bit thicker, okay? So these steps is very important for you to know, and you have to copy it, and you will see it during my operation. So first of all, we take the clipper, and number one, so number one, again, it's going to be the number 3mm and number one, you will find it right in the corner. Put it on the clipper, okay, and start. So again, from the jaw joint up to the side for number one. So brush again after you finish with the number one. This nice and clean make sure that you press on the clipper a little bit put some pressure okay so you're gonna see a little bit of red mark here but this is fine it's gonna go later within five minutes so don't panic but the only way to get the best result is to put some pressure so put pressure You can see the result is good, so when you're sure the result is good, so what we have to do, we have to start with number two. So number two from the jaw joint down to the goatee, one inch before the goatee, okay? So place it, have the number two, number two is 6mm, number two here, you will find it in the corner. So we put the number two, we start, and again, we count two fingers, okay, we measure it together, with the massage corner okay down there and then we put our fingers there and then from here to there we have to trim it so again you have to lay back your head this way so this part will come out and then it will give you easy move for your clipper and remember to lay back your head so that will give you a better view so i'm trying to stay away from the goatee as much as I can I'm trying to measure my movement from the corner of my mustache to the jaw joint that's it and again remember keep your clipper moving with many different directions to guarantee the length is all matched together so we have this part left in don't panic bring the number one 3mm number one you will find it in the corner and then here with the clipper you will have the guide okay the basic guide so the basic guide is 0.5 so the 0.5 try to squeeze the blade to the limit and then put the number one here 
So you can go higher, but you can you cannot go lower because if you go lower, you will damage the shape. Watch. So I'm trying to keep shaping the beard perfectly by playing only around this one inch. So if you find it a little bit darker, go one more time, just keep repeating. Again, the top secret is the brush. So I think this is good enough. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the last part is the goatee. So for my beard is number three, you might need more or less, it's up to you. So we put the number three again, it's 9mm, you will find the number three in the corner. Beard brush, the secret one. So brush, brush, brush. So after I finished all this part, okay, from the Cypro down to the goatee, so now I only have this part left, okay? So what I have to do is I'm going to end it up with the longest guide. The longest guide for my beard, okay, it's number three. You might need number four, number five, whatever you want, but the longest part is the goatee. So for my goatee, it's number three, okay? Here we go, we put the number three, it's 9mm, number three you will find it here right in the corner. And then make sure for the goatee to trim it all. So you don't have to trim half of it, then go and copy here, no. Make it easy for yourself, very simple. Just put the number three, okay, or whatever number that you have and get started. So remember where we ended up with number two is here. So from here down to there to the other side, we have to do the same. Let me show you. And again, on the goatee, sometimes you have different type of direction, okay? Sometimes up and down. Also make sure you play with the clipper. See, it doesn't hurt at all. So make sure you always move your clipper to flexible way, okay? And you're not gonna hurt yourself. So again, we have this part left, okay? So how to blend this part together? It's by only one thing. So what you have to do is take the number two again, okay? And then to the basic guide of the clipper, 0.5, try to squeeze the blade back to the end. And then put the number two, okay? So you just have to try to target this part. Do not go lower again anymore, because if you go lower, you will damage the shape. You can go higher, but don't go lower. So we already finished the beard, now we have the mustache left, okay? So what we're gonna do for the mustache, since you can see my mustache is regular size, we're not talking about the long one. The long one, they have their scissor technique. For someone who have the regular size like mine, so we always have to make sure that we need to make it neat. So to make it neat, the only thing that you can do to it is try to match it with the Cypro. So it should be the same length. So what we did here, it was number one. So we're gonna do the mustache is the same. And that will keep it dark by the way. And as long as matching with the Cypro, it will look good. So don't panic. If here we have it done number three, so here we should go number one. So I'm gonna take it number one. Don't panic, the mustache is very thick. So when you trim it with number one, it will look like, like number three, okay? Watch. So what we have to do in the next step is the brush, the magic tap. Again, brush, 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 brush. So here you can see, my mustache is thick enough and dark enough. So even though it's number one, but it looks exactly uh, matching with, the, with my goatee. Why? Because again, the mustache is huge and thick. Okay, so don't panic. So now we have to do the final touch for the beard. The most stressful for some of you is how to put the line, okay? So let me show you the most important steps. So the steps that you have to do, first of all, you have to start with the lower line, okay? So don't ever start in the top, then you're gonna mess it up. So always start with the lower line. The next step is the upper line. And the last one is the side line. The only thing that you have to do is drop a small clipper, okay, and try to put 
the lower line first. Don't ever start with the upper line. So most of the people, how they start is they try to put their head back. So for that reason, they cannot see the line at all. So keep your head still and straight. Okay, stretch the skin down until you can see the line. So here we go. The line is already sharp, okay? So as you can see, just stretch it and put your clipper here, okay? From the middle, down to the corner, okay? Again, from the middle, down to the corner. And that's it, the line is done. Look, again, you don't have to make it look like perfect. Two more line left, the upper one and the side one. So again, I'm trying to teach you the easiest way how to maintain your beard and keep it neat and clean. So you don't have to use a blade because a lot of you, they don't know how to use a blade, okay? So the easiest way is the natural finishing. Natural finishing, what we do is, so we did here one, okay, all the way down to number two, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to use the clipper with 0 0.5 half inch in only, okay? So half inch and about all of it, we're gonna take it 0 0.5. So what's the 0 0.5? The 0 0.5 is, again, in the same basic guide for the clipper, okay? You would find it in the back, push the blade back to the end, and then you can get started. And the most important, do not put too much pressure, okay? So you have to be very gentle. I'm gonna show you. Again guys, just half inch only. So you don't have to go too crazy. So you can see now, I almost catch it, okay? So what I have to do, put again number one, bring back the blade, okay? Put the number one, and again, on the same spot, try to retouch it. So don't go down too much. That will never help. Now for some of you will have some hair left over here. So you can use the small clipper just to clean it up. Little bit, okay? So this is it. That's all about the natural line finishing and we already got it so what we're gonna do now for the back line can try to stretch forward okay so when you stretch forward you have the perfect view it's very easy okay so it's piece of cake so we're done with it now the final touch will be the mustache me i don't have too much but again we all know how to trim the mustache and that's so i already wash it let's take a look at it the right side and that's the left side and again, this is not to look your absolute best. It's just something good and presentable for this hard time. That's it for today, guys. I hope that you have learned a lot from this video. Leave a comment down below if you have any further question. New content's coming soon. Till next time, and again, stay home and stay safe.